Man, I don't care what race you are. I don't want your help. I may interview people, but I don't want your help. All you black yuppies, I don't want your help. You black gang members, I don't want your help. I don't want anyone's help. You didn't even have the heart to go against the grain. I have nothing to say to you, and I don't want to hear anything you have to say to me. Now this video I'm about to show you was uploaded November 9th, 2015. Remember, there's been countless house niggas from Obama, Colin Powell, Jay Johnson, and now there's there's Darren Walker that I'm going to show to you. I'm going to play a clip. He's a gay black guy from Texas, the president of the Ford Foundation, second largest philanthropy, um, the leader in the nonprofit and philanthropic uh, sectors in society. He's a disgrace to his race and to all of humanity. Like many of these house niggas who seek to control the black community and monopolize on all the attractive black women. You see, either they are traitor black women going to kind of snitch ass informant, secret society, gang stalking, black thugs and gang members, or they are sell out yuppie black attractive women that go to cowards like this guy. And it is a fucking disgrace. I don't want to see any black woman saying anything to me, especially not an attractive one. Shut the fuck up. You have disgraced us way too much. Shut the fuck up. The American people are concerned about it. For the first time, more than 50% of the American people believe that inequality is a major challenge. We're addressing it by organizing all of our grant making in the U.S. and around the world because inequality in many ways undermines our vision for a more just and fair world. And for Americans, inequality is particularly problematic because it takes us robs from us opportunity aspiration uh, these are the pillars of our culture the ability to get on the social mobility a kid like me starting in a shotgun shack in a small town uh, in texas ending up as president of the ford foundation that's an american story the question is will there be more american stories like mine and yours david in america's future and if the trends around inequality let me stop you right here just for one second Notice how he is feeding into the idea of he, he's successful. That is an American story. I'm so successful. I'm the head of the Ford Foundation, blah, blah, blah. That, go, that, that has to do with everything to do with eugenics, okay? These people are the biased, hypocritical eugenicists. He's a sniveling, weak, fucking, frail scumbag who used his secret society connections in his gay network to get where he is. And magically, it's so wonderful, women should fucking throw themselves at him continue there won't be that is the question but you deal with business leaders day in and day out what is the business case you can make to business leaders that inequality is bad for business it's bad for the economy and the good news is that what do you, what do you think he's talking about inequality he's talking about gender inequality not just race gender and when it comes you know homosexuals right gays gay rights and business leaders are taking this up just last week, I was talking with Paul Tudor Jones, who started something called but Just we know it. Yeah. Our first guest you on know, Bloomberg. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, so an wonderful. amazing organization. Paul Pullman, uh, the head of you, uh, Unilever, you um, the, the head of um, Rothschild. Uh, 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 um. Okay, look. This guy saying on record, we're working with Rothschild, okay? We look at Ashton Carter. He went to Rockefeller University. Look, look, they're a bunch of Rockefeller University, Rockefeller Foundation, Ford Foundation scum. These are people gang stalking people for their political views because they think it's going to help them tackle inequality. Okay, they have an organized effort to manipulate us behind the scenes and to openly declare their intentions and to expect everyone to fall in line. On record, and listen to this other guy they brought on, right? See an increase in mortality since the late 1990s appears to be primarily driven by their dire economic prospects. So now he has a big nose. He might be a Jew. I don't know. He's talking about white males and how, you know, that inequalities made them suffer and so on. Yes, all these issues they're talking about are issues, you know. But my problem, and it should be your problem too, is that a bunch of ninny corporation scum 
on record. He He's not saying we're not. He's saying we are a bunch of corporations working together to tackle inequality. And we are going to address the attitudes in society to do so. Look, I know firsthand. I went to University of Phoenix, FBI agent, former Carlisle employee, teaching the race relations class, talking about gender inequality, talking about race relations, right? The same things they're talking about. Okay, all these fucking groups work together for an agenda. It's the same with the Masons. You know, liberty and the age of enlightenment. Look, 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 look. These people like to make it sound so good, but they're fucking scum. I promise you all, they are scum, they are fuming me and drugging me because I'm honorable and they're scum. I'm virtuous, they're villains. I am righteous, they are indignant scum. And this piece of shit talking about, oh, I'm so successful. I'm the top martial artist. You're a soulless pussy that works with Rothschild. You're not successful. You're bound for hell inequality that threatens our society is the inability for someone who already has the merit to take his rightful place in society and the Ford Foundation is the main reason why this inequality exists these very corporations have caused despair and economic disparity they have controlled the opposition and the liberals against them, historically and currently. Inequality exists because of the hypocrisy of the corporations and their foundations. The only way to address that is to rid the world of these scoundrels. They will never willingly make a fair planet. They will, however, improve the planet their way while screening out the most righteous people on the planet. Their idea of equality has to do with gender equality, gay rights, and a superficial minority rights movement. It goes like this. Women, gays, and minorities have the rights to be treated as equals as long as they accept a Masonic philosophy. That is not equality. Any equality that screens out people such as myself in favor of bootlicking cowards is not for humanity and should be discarded immediately. Their globalist agenda has proven itself unfair, unworthy, and downright wrong. These conniving scoundrels are the biggest hypocrites on the planet. It may as well be the pedophiles talking about how we need to treat our children better and giving grants to other pedophiles to make it happen. These are the wolves in sheep's clothes, friends of the Fabian society whose old coat of arms was a wolf in sheep's clothes. This is despicable and unforgivable. Their plan has everything to do with eugenics and nothing to do with what is fair. Nothing makes my stomach turn more than the part where he talks about aspirations. I am the top martial artist in America and it's because of the Ford Foundation and its allies that my aspirations will never be realized. Not in my lifetime. They fume and drug me they team up with the Center for the Advanced Study of Behavioral Sciences in Stanford and other Ivy League oppressors who historically were eugenicists. The founding president of Stanford was a eugenicist. Henry Ford and his allies were historically eugenicists. And the fact that the Ford Foundation still bears their oppressive name makes things clear it's the same way that the Hoover Building makes it clear that psyops and eugenics are America's cup of tea. We must reject the globalist policies from an oppressive elite. Their hypocrisy is atrocious. This arduous journey that I've embarked upon 
this tenuous journey. is the most respectable thing that any American has ever done. And every step of the way, the Ford Foundation, the gang stalkers, the Department of Defense, Ashton Carter, the Department of Homeland Security, Jay Johnson, the FBI, the CIA, Comey, O'Brennan, every step of the way hindered my progress and they teamed up with criminals to do so. People who steal people's hard-earned money and rip them off for their ideas and their livelihood. And you want to talk about equality and fairness when you are the biggest criminal scum around. How disgraceful. I don't even want to see another house, nigga. Much less hear one speak. Speak. 